Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am Patrick. So in this video, I'm gonna show you all possible ways to make an API call in JavaScript. All right, let's jump right into it. All right, guys, let's see the first example. The first example is using XML HTTP request. So the XML HTTP request is the oldest way to fetch data from API. It's the only option available to make an API call before ES6. All right, let's take a quick look at it. First of all, we need to create the object instance of XML HTTP request. So we're gonna create a variable or our object instance called um, XHttp. All right, this is our variable or our object instance. And then we're gonna use new keyword and we're gonna call the XML HTTP request constructor like this, okay? Then we need to bring the our variable and then we're gonna access to on ready state change. Inside this function, we're gonna check if the status equal to 200. So what does it mean? It means that if status is okay, no error, we're gonna console.log our data, okay? So we're gonna use if statement and inside parentheses we're gonna check by using this dot status. So the this keyword it refers to this object, which is um XHTTP variable. Alright. So we're gonna access to status and we're gonna check if status equal to 200, which means it's okay or no error. We're gonna console.log our data by using XHTTP and we're gonna access our data by using the response text property like this. Okay, next we're gonna use the XHTTP and we're gonna use the open method. So the open method we're gonna pass two arguments into this method. So the first argument is get method because we want to fetching data from an API. Then we're gonna use the get request or get method, all right? And then the second argument, which is the API URL. So right here, I'm gonna using the JSON placeholder API. So you can type accordingly. We're gonna use HTTPS colon slash slash JSON placeholder dot type code dot com slash users all right this is our api url and the final step is we're gonna use x http and then we're gonna use the send method to send get request then we're gonna get the respond text or respond data back to us okay all right guys hit save and then go back to the chrome browser as you can see, we got the response text or our data display right here in the console. All right, cool. This is the first example of using XML HTTP request to make an API call. All right, the second example is using fetch API or fetch function. So the fetch is a web API that provides an interface to fetch resources across the networks we have the fetch method for making a request. Okay, let's take a look at the example here. So we can use fetch. They always return the promise, which will be captured by the then method. So inside the parentheses, we're gonna pass the API URL, which is a JSON placeholder API. So let's put it right here. HTTPS colon slash slash JSON placeholder dot type code dot com slash users and then next we're gonna use the then method because as I told you the fetch API always returns a promise which will be captured by the then method we're gonna use the then method dot then like this so the first then method we're gonna take the response and then we're gonna convert the JSON data into JavaScript object okay we're gonna receive the response and then we're gonna return using the arrow function okay we're gonna convert the JSON data into JavaScript object by using respond and then using the JSON method like this okay so this is the first then that we transform or convert respond data into JavaScript object and then we're gonna use the second then because whenever you're using fetch you need to use two then because the first then we convert JSON data into JavaScript object and the second then we're gonna get our actual data 
and then we're gonna console log into our console. So after we convert JSON data into JavaScript object, we need to receive our actual data by using the, um, I'm gonna use the data parameter here and then we're gonna return and we're gonna console.log our data. So you can log data like this. Okay, that's it about how to using the fetch API or fetch function. So hit save and then go back to the Chrome browser. As you can see in the console, we got our array of objects. If you expand, you can see 10 objects inside this array. Okay, cool. So the fetch method is easy to use and easy to understand. All right, guys, let's see the third example. So the third example, we're gonna using the Axios library. So what is Axios? Axios is a promise-based HTTP client for Node.js and the browser. So this is the great library that you can use when you want to make an API call in your Node.js application or in browser. All right, let's take a look at the example here. So first, um, you can install via npm bower yarn and CDN. So we're gonna use the CDN, okay? You can copy this script tag and go back to VS Code and go back to index.html and put it right above the our script file. Okay, hit save and then go back to script.js file. Okay, let's start using the Axios. We're gonna create function called request data and inside this function, we're gonna use try and catch to um, catch some errors if we are encounter some error, okay? So inside the parentheses catch, I'm gonna receive the error, okay? And we're gonna console.log error if we encounter some error. So inside the try block, we're gonna start using Axios. You can use axios.get method to make an API call. Inside the get method, we're gonna pass our API, which is we're gonna use um, JSON placeholder dot type code dot com slash users then we're gonna lock our data into console okay so when you are using the axios i need you to remember this so axios we just need one then unlike fetch api because fetch api we need to transform our json data into javascript object and then we can lock our data right but when you use Axios, you don't need to transform JSON data into JavaScript object because Axios take care of it for us. If you go back to their site and then you just take a look at this feature, automatic transforms for JSON data, which means we don't need to transform JSON data into JavaScript object like when we're using the Fetch API. All right, cool. So we just need one then, okay? Just use dot then. Just only one then. And then we're gonna receive response and then we're gonna return and we're gonna console.log rest and we're gonna access to our data dot data like this. As you can see, it's so easy. Just one then. Okay, and the final step is just call our function um, like this. Okay, hit save and go back to browser. All right, as you can see in the console, we got our array of objects like this. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is how we can use Axios when you want to make an API call in browser or in Node.js application. It's so easy to use and easy to understand. And the last example is using jQuery Ajax. So Ajax stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. It is used to handle asynchronous HTTP requests. All right, let's take a look at the example. So first we need to um, using the jQuery library. So you can go to Google and search for jQuery, right? Go to their website and then click to download jQuery button right there. And then you can right click on the download the compressed production jQuery 3.6.0. Right click and then copy link address and go back to our VS Code and replace this to jQuery. All right, cool. It's safe and then go back to our script.js. 
All right, let's take a look at how to use the jQuery Ajax. So first of all, you need to declare the jQuery function. So we can use the dollar sign and then document dot ready and callback function like this. And inside this block of code, you can use the jQuery code or Ajax. Okay, let's take a look. So we can use the dollar sign dot Ajax method like this and we have the object so inside this object we're gonna specify the property that needs to use inside this Ajax method the first property is URL which is the API so we're gonna use HTTPS colon slash slash JSON placeholder dot type code dot com slash users right and then next we're gonna use the type property so we're gonna making an API call, which means we're gonna use the get method or get request, okay? And next we're gonna use the success function or success method. So which means if our API is fetching successfully, we're gonna console.log our response, right? So we're gonna use the success method and we're gonna receive the response parameter like this. And we're gonna console.log response okay and the final step is we're gonna use the error method so if we are encounter some error we're gonna receive the error parameter and then we're gonna console.log error like this all right cool and hit save and go back to the chrome browser okay as you can see in the console we got our array of objects yeah that's it as you can see if you want to use jQuery Ajax when you want to making an API request you can use it and it's so easy all right guys this is all possible ways to make an API call in JavaScript I hope this video is helpful if this video is helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and see you guys soon in the next video